Okay, so I want to share with you two illustrations from my life to kind of give you a how, to show you how this looks on a practical level, right? So a couple weeks back, I think I made a video called I Can't Feel My Sadness and I talked about this really, really briefly about how I was sad. So I went on a date and for whatever reason, I felt sad because I felt like I had messed up this date and I lost this opportunity and blah, blah, blah. And the next morning when I woke up, I literally felt like, fuck, I fucked up. I feel like I really messed up this opportunity and I recognized that I was actually feeling sad. Like there was a sadness in my body and I wanted to cry. But being the person that I am, I can always see the big picture and I'm a really positive person, which sometimes, and I think for a lot of spiritual people out there who always want to be really, really positive, we make the mistake of always trying to see the big picture and the brighter side of things, which is wonderful, but it doesn't work if you don't allow yourself to feel what you're feeling. So when I woke up that morning, I recognized that I was feeling sad and I wanted to cry, but what ended up happening was that I had a conversation that morning with a friend of mine. She called me and we were just catching up and I ended up telling her how what happened and how I was feeling. And in telling her that, I was already explaining my higher perspective. I was like, yeah, whatever, it sucks, but this is how I feel and this is what I learned from it. And th then I recognized that, whoa, 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 yeah, yeah, I see the bigger picture and I, I know the lesson that I learned from this, but I'm not allowing myself to feel the sadness because what I feel is sad. So, so later that day, I ended up just picking up a book, my journal, and I had an impulse to go to Starbucks. So I went to Starbucks and determined to just feel my sadness. And I sat down and I was at Starbucks for about three hours and I just was writing in my journal and allowing myself to feel the sadness. And just, as I was sitting there, I could feel the sadness rising up and it was located all here in my chest. And I could feel the tingling sensation bubbling up of wanting to cry, that kind of heaviness feeling, it's just like, oh, I'm just sad. And I allowed myself to feel that and, and cry, but uh, one of the things that I noticed as I was feeling my sadness is that my mind started to generate thoughts. And the thoughts that it was generating was trying to take me on that more negative side of the emotional scale it wanted to go into I should have I could have what if I did this differently imagine how it would have turned out you know and what is that gonna do if I if I allowed myself to start thinking about what could have been if I could have done this differently then I'm gonna start making myself feel guilty and making myself feel like a victim blaming myself being hard on myself and that serves no purpose so we need to recognize that when we are going into our feelings, your thoughts are going to start generating. And that's when you need awareness the most because you need to recognize when your mind wants to take you into those more negative uh, thoughts, which is only going to produce more negative emotion. So as I was sitting there and I was feeling my sadness and my thoughts wanted to take me into guilt mode, into should have, could have, regret. I would just notice it and I would bring myself right back back to the center and just stay with my sadness stay with my sadness that's all that I'm feeling I am feeling sad and all that I could do is accept what is and the reality was that yes I had this day and yes it went really well and yes at the end of it I am probably messed it up because I got in my own way and yes, maybe I did lose the opportunity of this person wanting to go on another date with me, let's just say. And that's just the reality of what is. We can spend, I can spend all day trying to think of how I could have done things differently. I could spend all day thinking about, you know, how I fucked up and beating myself up about it. Or I can just recognize that shit, I'm sad. It is what it is. And allow myself to feel it, which is what I did. And so once I allowed myself to feel the emotion and I felt it release from my body and 
once my body felt lighter, I knew I had cleared it out. So the next step for me at that point was to transform it. And I transformed it by then going to the bigger picture and recognizing what I learned from the experience and what it taught me and what it brought me and recognizing the hate, even though I did maybe mess up this opportunity because I got in my own way. You know what? The fact that I attracted this person into my reality, he happened to be more of a preference than I've had in the past, which goes to show me that I have cleared out a lot of patterns and that my vibration in this specific area of my life is way more fine-tuned because I am now getting more of what I prefer and less of what I don't. So I started to find all the messages and everything that this experience brought to me. And by doing that, I was able to transform it and all of a sudden I went from feeling sad to now feeling great and seeing all the possibilities. Crazy enough, what happened was that a couple of hours later when I was getting ready to leave Starbucks, I meet a new person who approached me and asked me out on a date. And right there it's so crazy i went through the experience i saw it i felt it i transformed it and immediately the universe brought me a new situation that is now even more of my preference so it's a beautiful process <laughs> and the other uh experience that i want to share with you briefly is that a, a week ago right before i was coming to new york i believe on thursday I was feeling really restless. That whole day I was like, I had this restless feeling and I didn't know why, I was antsy. I would go out, buy coffee, I went to go run some errands, I went to do this, but I just felt antsy. And and I didn't want to sit with this restlessness. I didn't know what it was and then finally I was like, all right, Stephanie, I just, I gotta figure this out. So what I did was I recognized that I was restless and then I figured out why was I restless and I recognized that I was restless because Part of me, all that I wanted to do was that day was do nothing. I wanted to literally just be lazy and not very proactive. But I had a lot of things to do. I had videos I needed to edit. I had emails I needed to respond to. And so that created this resistance, which created all this restlessness for me because part of me wanted to just chill and do nothing, but the other part of me felt bad for not doing anything. So when I recognized that, I finally gave in and I was like, all right, I'm just going to sit with my restlessness as uncomfortable as it was. And I just sat with it. I let myself feel the jittery, ah, I don't know what's wrong with me. Ah. And then I was like, okay, what do I want to do? And I was like, you know what? I just want to watch a movie. And I gave in. And I watched, I picked a movie and I saw this movie called In Her Eyes. And it's about these two souls who are telepathically connected, which I love things like that. And honestly, when I finished watching that movie, I felt so great. My restlessness was gone, and now all of a sudden I had this new burst of energy and exhilaration all inside of me, and I felt amazing, and I was like, oh, this is just what I needed to do. The next day, I was able to see the bigger picture because guess what? Friday, I happened to be so busy that I didn't have time to not be productive. I had... Uh, I met up with a friend in the morning and then in the afternoon I had another friend who came to see me and then at night I had a date and then in the middle of the night at 4 o'clock in the morning I needed to drive to New York. So it was like my soul knew what I needed. I needed to have an unproductive day because the next day was going to be a packed day full of activity. So my restlessness was because of the struggle that I was having internally. And so it was just so beautiful. And that's a really small example, but you know, our, this process of see it, feel it, and transform it, you use it for everything. Anything you're going through, you need to recognize your emotion by seeing it, recognize the trigger, and then allow yourself to feel the emotion, and then you transform it by A, either communicating to whatever person might have triggered these feelings in a way that is compassionate and that it's coming from a higher perspective and not, a, and not from blame. And then two, Go and find that big picture. What can I learn from this? What did this bring me? And this will allow you to work through things a lot faster and swift through contrast and get more of what you prefer into your reality. Hey guys, I will talk to you soon.